Hello everyone, this is a lesson on SAT equation. I'm going to show you how you go about solving SAT equation. The first step, they say you isolate the SAT. When you talk about the SAT, we're talking about the square root. So you need to leave that all by itself. And then you square both sides. I'm going to do that with you. You solve for X. And then the last step, you check for your answer. You, you usually get two answers and one of them is not correct. Let's start with an example. When they say isolate the SAT, we need to leave the SAT all by itself. So we're going to take the X to the other side. We'll have 2 square root X minus 1 is equals to 4 minus x but we still have that so we divide by two both sides then we get x minus 1 is equals to 4 minus x divided by 2 the second step they say square both sides we put a square root a square not a square root a square both sides the square is going to cancel that square. You'll be left with x minus 1 is equal to. Then we square this. First times first, 16. First times second times 2, get minus 8x. And then x times x is plus x squared. Then divide by 2 times 2 is 4. To get rid of the denominator, I multiply by 4 both sides. So here I'm going to have 4 times x. 4x minus 4 is equal to 16 minus 8x plus x squared. Then I take everything to this side. I have 0 is equal to 16 minus 8x plus x squared minus 4x plus 4. 0 is equal to, I'm going to start with x squared. I'm writing a trinomial now. This one and that one, like terms, will give me minus 12x. And then the 16 and the 4 give me 20. Then I factorize. 0. My factors x, x. Because this is positive and negative, they'll be both negative. You can always use a quadratic formula. Then it's a 10 and a 2. So my x values x is equals to 10 or x is equals to 2. Then the last part they say check your answer. Let's do that. When you check your answer, you take the answers that you got, you put them in the original equation. One of them will be wrong. So let's start with 10. We substitute for 10. 10, x is 10 plus 2 square root 10 minus 1 must give us 4. Then we have 10 plus 10 minus 1 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6 is equal to 4. So do you see it's 16 not equals to 4. You don't need to write that in your book. So it means out of these two answers, this one is wrong. You come here, you say that one is incorrect. The correct one is 2. Let's check 2. In an exam, you don't need to check both. If one is correct, the other one is wrong. But let's check the 2. So, here. Let's do it here. We will have 2 plus 2 into 2 minus 1 is equal to 4. Okay? 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4 is equal to 4. So this one is the correct one. If you don't go and check which one is correct, you lose one mark. In this question, one of them is not correct. You have to go and check which one is not correct. Thank you for watching. Please practice. This is not hard. You just need to practice. This is the end of our lesson.